everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. It is lime green day, so it was an overwhelming, ridiculous vote for the lime green. Um, I eventually even gave up counting votes because lime green was way, way in the lead. So we are doing lime green today. Um, but again, got a few things I want to talk about and show you. Um, so this piece is still hanging here. It is my blue diptych. It is um, available for purchase if anyone is interested. Um, the video for it, I can link it up here at the top for you guys and you guys can check that out. So if you're interested in that piece, let me know. Um, I finished, it's still a little tacky, so I gotta be careful where I'm touching it, but I, I was so excited I had to show you guys. Check this out. Oh, hold on, there we go. I can't touch the front, but it's done. How cool is this? I'm so happy with this piece and I cannot wait to give it to our friend um, for his birthday in August. So I'm super happy with this. Um, I, like It came out perfect. Um, the colors, everything, everything's awesome. So I cannot wait to finish this off, pull the tape off the back. Oy and finish that off. So I'm really excited about that. The periwinkle piece you saw in the last video sold. It sold right away. It sold literally after I released the video. Um, so to the lucky person who snagged it, good on you. Um, for the other 10 to 15 people who emailed me wanting it, I'm sorry. Um, but I did offer um, commissioned pieces where I could make another one for you. So I have two other clients who have commissioned the exact same piece. So I'll be working on that at some point as well. So if you're interested in a periwinkle piece, let me know. It doesn't have to be a triptych. It could be whatever size you want. Um, to those of you who have headed over to my son's YouTube channel, I cannot tell you guys how happy it makes me to see how happy he is working on his trains. And I'll tell you why. Before the train table was ready and before he started getting tracks and all his new trains, he spent hours, and I mean hours, even though we kept telling him, you know, get off, you know, he spent hours on his PlayStation playing Fortnite, okay? Total Fortnite gaming in his room with his headset on gaming for hours, okay? We would try and get him to go outside and play. Nope, he wanted to be on line gaming. Ever since the train table has been ready, all he wants to do is go to grandma's house and play with his trains. I cannot tell you like how awesome it is that he doesn't care to play Fortnite anymore and how awesome it is that he's, you know, decided to start a YouTube channel and now he's concentrating on making videos and replying to people's comments and all that. So I can't thank you guys enough for showing him love and support. Like I read the comments. I do. I literally go through all the comments and I like them all. And you guys are amazing. And to the people who've donated to my son, you guys are amazing. Um, I had a few people donate um, to my PayPal link for my son. And then to make it even more incredible, the kindness is then they donate a little extra for my daughter because they say, well, I can't give to your son and not give to your daughter. It's not fair. And I'm like, mind blown, absolutely mind blown with the generosity um, of you guys. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, so thank you so, so much, not only for thinking about my son, but for thinking about my daughter too. Like, I can't tell you guys, oh, there's grandma calling again. Um, but a lot of people in his comments um, asked, um, if he had an Amazon wish list. Well, he doesn't because he doesn't have an Amazon shop like I do. So we sat down together and we created an Amazon wish list. Um, I guess no one's gonna answer the phone. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, so we sat down together and we created an Amazon wish list where he got to pick stuff that he wanted and put it in his wish list. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll put the link in the description below, but it'll also be on his channel as well under his videos. Um, so basically you just click on the link, see everything he likes, you add it to your cart and it automatically, um, sends it here to me. 
Um, so one lovely viewer has already purchased something off the list and he is so excited to get this new piece to add to his train table. So I'm not telling you this so that you can think you should donate or anything like that, because please, that's not what I'm saying. Um, I just, I'm humbled. I'm surprised shocked i'm i'm just floored at the generosity um from you guys just not just to me to my son to my daughter just in general you guys are the best and you really know how to make a gal and even a little boy feel really loved and special so thank you thank you okay um i will link his info in the description below and you'll also see it at the end of the video um in the top or bottom right hand corner of your screen you'll see a, an image of trains that says youtube channel or just search lucas Siraco. okay so um the periwinkle piece is still drying so i'm not going to show you that i showed you the steelers logo um in the last video i mentioned or the video before that the red triptych had been purchased and sold the red triptych is now available um the client uh wanted to do a swap she changed her mind and wanted the metallic cobalt blue triptych instead, which is fine by me. I strive to make my clients and my customers happy. So the metallic blue cobalt piece is now sold, but the red triptych is now available. So if you were interested prior to the red triptych and I told you it was sold, it's now up for grabs. So if you're interested in that, email me, canelasiraco at gmail.com. Um, I think that's it. Let's get started to the um, painting and let's see what comes about. When this thing works, still haven't figured this thing out, this new doohickey. All right, guys, we are back and we are using Lime Green by Liquitex Basics as a base color. Um, I have two 11 by 14 inch canvases here. I have already gone ahead and as you can see, laid down a base of green, which I have, well, I mixed it in this cup, but uh, it's mixed with paint, Floetrol and water and the concoction and how I mix that or how I mix the colors in my squeeze bottles is in video number 63. I will link it up at the top for you. Now I mentioned this before in a previous video, but I know there's always new viewers watching, new subscribers. When you're doing a base color, um, in terms of my ratios, um, because I use the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and the Flow Acrylic Black with by Artist Loft, those paints um, in those bottles are a little more fluid than the paint you get out of these tube two paints here. So I take it down a notch in terms of paint. So if my ratio is 80 flow trawl, 40 paint, 30 grams water, I do 80, maybe 35 and 30. So I take it down a little bit on the paint because it is thicker. So just keep that in mind if you're not using the flow acrylic white bottles, um, which I don't have here to show you. But if you watched all my older videos, you'll know. All right, so I am going to pop the bubbles real quick. And uh, how many of you noticed uh, my hair? Anybody notice that my hair was a different color in the video, in the intro? How many of you are gonna go back and rewind now to see the difference in my hair color? <laughs> I finally got my hair done the other day. It was nice to hit the salon. Sophia came with me. We had our masks on. I got my hair colored. Sophia got her hair cut, much needed. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was funny. Um, okay, so um, Pinterest. Now I had so many Pinterest. This was my original Pinterest um, color palette. So if you're ever stuck and want to know colors that go well together, go to Pinterest and just search lime green color palette, blue color palette, red color palette, whatever. And then you get all these awesome ideas. This was my original one that I had picked, but then I found this one, Peacock. So I'm gonna go with this, and but I made a modification or two. So we already have the green, and for this color here at the front, I have decided on the Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, okay? 
Um, we already have the green. And for the blue here, I chose Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. And then this purple, I chose Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. It was a toss up between Metallic Purple or Dioxazine Purple, but I chose Metallic Purple. And then they have gold, but I didn't really want gold because I was worried the gold and the green would kind of look too yellow. Um, so I went with silver instead. So I, 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 you know, substituted the gold for the silver. This is Sterling Silver by Deco Art. But then I decided to add one more color on my own, um, and that is Metallic Cobalt Blue. All right. So let's see how this turns out. Now I'm going to start and remember what I've said. A lot of people say, how do you know how to layer your colors and you know, what color goes first? So I'm the color you want to show the most, you're going to put last. That's the color you want last. And then what you want to do is, so now I have two blues almost, right? They look almost the same, so separate them. Don't put them side by side. I have one at the end and one at the beginning. And then you can also separate it with like whatever other colors you have. Okay, so that's what I'm going for. I don't know if this is going to work, but then again, I don't know if any of them that I do with these colors is going to work. I've checked my canvas. They are level. You got to make sure they're level. Okay, you can find this and my awesome... Um, spatula silicone spatula for spreading the paint on my amazon shops all right so let's get started i guess we're starting with the uh metallic cobalt blue and how am i going to do this i guess i'll just do my regular um squiggles and see how that happens let's see here um um, I don't know. Let's just uh, do this and whatever this, you know, when you blow it all out, it kind of just doesn't make a difference. Um, all right. So there, yes, that's what we're doing. I'll tell you a funny story while I'm laying paint. So you all heard the story about how my mother-in-law was watching the dogs and Juno ran away on her. Now, and how bad that was. Well, guess who decided to follow suit the other day or yesterday? We went over to my neighbors to play some lawn darts and we had the dogs on their porch, their back porch, which is fenced, and, you know, they couldn't get out, but we had to let Echo down so he can use the potty. Well, normally we always have him on his leash, but they have a pretty big backyard and it's all fenced in with the exception of one spot that's not fenced in. Well, guess who found that one spot to run to? None other than Echo. So he takes off running like a bat out of hell. And can I tell you, this dog is fast, okay? So he runs from the backyard. We're all chasing him. Literally, kids, adults, we're all chasing. And I'm in the lead chasing. And what does he do? He runs on the road with cars coming. I literally run into the middle of the road, waving my hands like a lunatic, up in the air, jumping, jumping jacks, screaming, stop, stop. And here's Ju uh, here's Echo, doo doo doo, running through traffic. And I'm like practically in tears thinking this dog's gonna die. So let me tell you, um, I'll never do that again. Um, you know, anytime he needs to go out, he's gonna be on a leash. Um, but that really scared me a lot because I thought he was done for because um, there was cars coming on both ends and I just lost it. So that's not happening again, but it's just these dogs are going to kill me one day, I swear. Okay, colors are down. And see, Juno must know I was talking about him because there's a doggy hair right there. Let's get that out. All right, so because this is so high up, I'm going to blow this one downwards and then up and then downwards. So we'll start up here and get going. And let's cross your fingers. Oh, 
I love it. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I was blowing, there were times where I was really close to the canvas and the paint was just moving way too fast. So whenever you're blowing your paint, like, I mean, every hair dryer is different. Some are more powerful, some are less powerful. Um, start up high, I've mentioned this before, and if it's not blowing or moving your paint, go closer. But as I was blowing, um, there were times where I got really close and I noticed the paint was going really, really fast. Um, so I, I lifted it up because you don't want to splatter the paint everywhere, right? So you got to gauge how close or how far away your hair dryer is going to be. Start at the top and move your way down. Don't start at the bottom because if you put it on high and you're down here, everywhere, okay? So start up high. Now, oh man, I can't believe this. And look at the cells that are forming. You know, I'm really glad I didn't use the gold because there's so much greeny yellow. Like, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see my hands? They're yellow. Like they're not green, they're yellow. Like, so clearly there's a yellow hue in here. So if I had used gold in this, I, I don't know if it would have turned out really pretty. However, I am going to work on this a bit because I want some matchy matchy going on up here. That's not moving anymore. And then I'm gonna bring this down a little bit without getting any hair or anything. I don't need to dye my hair again. See, matchy, matchy. And that's pretty good up there as well. Um, I don't think I wanna do anything else except for grab my torch here. <clears throat> torch this petal right here. Yes, and any other petals? Um, no, I don't think I want to. I'm loving this. You know, I'm so glad I put in the metallic purple. So all my colors that I used are all either metallic or iridescent, okay? Everything except for the greenish blue by Amsterdam, they're all, this is metallic, this is iridescent, this is metallic, and this is a metallic. So when I turn the studio lights off and you guys see the shimmer in it, it's it's all just the metallic paints. I didn't add, like uh, someone had asked me if I added um, this stuff. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. Someone had asked if I had used um, iridescent medium in my paints and I said no. So this stuff here, you can add to a paint that's not shiny or shimmery or metallic and it makes it shimmery and metallic. Um, so you can add that without it affecting the color of your actual paint. Um, but no, I didn't use any of that. So this is why I kind of like picking colors on these backgrounds, especially like these colored backgrounds. This is why I like using the iridescence or metallic colors. All right, so I am going to bring you guys down for a close up and show you how pretty this is. I'm so excited. It really reminds me of a beachy, tropical, palm tree, watery, without the purple, but that's what it reminds me of. So let me bring you guys down and you'll see what I'm looking at. All right, guys, so viewer's choice. Um, we now have two new colors um, to choose from. So I'm going back to the unbleached titanium. And now the new color in the mix is orange. I don't know if it's gonna be this exact orange. Um, I have to hit the, you know, Michaels and the, another craft store that we have called Curry's that sells Amsterdam because Michaels doesn't sell Amsterdam. So um, it'll be an orange for sure. I just don't know um, here actually, let me see. Yeah, this is it here. So this is that right? These are, it's cadmium, or no, sorry, azo orange by Amsterdam. 
So I'm hoping I can get another, I need two bottles actually, cause this one's dead. But here are your options. Um, so you wanna see the unbleached titanium or do you wanna see orange next? So I've pretty much done every color in the, in the rainbow already, um, but um, I haven't done orange yet and I haven't done this yet. So let me know what uh, you want in the comments below. Look at my fingers, oh my gosh. In the comments below, let me know which color you wanna see next. Um, I do have to work on some commission pieces in between. So if the next video isn't one of these, don't worry, don't panic. I will still pick the winner and do one of those, but I do have to do a commission piece in between. Um, so let's move on to the beauty of lime green. I can't believe this. I'm like pleasantly surprised with every single pour I'm doing with these colored backgrounds because I always think they're going to turn out like poop and they don't. Um, they've all turned out really amazing. Like even red, I hate red. No offense to everyone who loves red. I hate red, but, uh, it turned out amazing. And so did this one. And I couldn't be happier with the results of this lime green. And I love the blue and the purple. And I'm so glad I changed my mind and did not put in that gold. And I did the silver instead. So this is what it looks like with my bright white studio lights on. Let me turn them off and show you what it looks like with the lights off. Be right back. All right, and here we are with the studio lights off. Now, while I'm showing you, don't forget, guys, I have my 100K giveaway coming up. So don't forget, I'm at 99.1, um, and I'm almost there. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers. So once I hit that 100K, I'm going to be doing a major giveaway. So in order to win and be part of the giveaway, you must subscribe to my channel. Please hit that red subscription button, hit the notification bell, that way you're notified every time I post new videos and stay tuned for the upcoming giveaway. I should be hitting that soon. How exciting. So there it is with the studio lights off, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This piece is available for purchase. If you are interested in this diptych, please email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. And, you know, it's just like the periwinkle. A lot of people, you know, didn't get notified. I had posted a new video, so they didn't get the video. They didn't get to see it till much later. And by then, the periwinkle had already sold. So this is why I say it's super important to hit that notification bell and hit the all notifications option. That way when I release a video, you get a pop-up on your phone or your tablet that tells you, hey, Canela's released a new video and then you can check it out. So don't miss out on this piece if you are interested, um, canelasaraco at gmail.com. And I think that's it. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for your support, for your support on Lucas's channel. Juno's and Echo's channel as well. Like, I mean, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for everything. Until next time, guys, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.